Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. We love it when we find great tools around the yardscape that make life easier. Well, when we bought this particular one and I brought it home and Dirt Farmer Maggie put it to the test, she gave me the double thumbs up. What are we talking about? We're talking about Rubbermaid Commercial Products Big Wheel Farm Cart. We found several things we love about this cart and one thing we think could have been an enhancement. Stay tuned and we'll tell you all about it. I'm going to give you some of the highlights and walk you through some of the specifications about this great cart that we found. Well, number one, it is a one-piece tub. So this entire tub is easy to wash out. There's no holes. There's nothing to catch your shovel on and rivets or that sort of thing. So it makes things slide out of it very easy. It's an integrated handle right with the tub. Very strong HDPE plastic. The second thing I like about this is the balance of the cart. So, because the large wheels and where they are, there's little rolling resistance when you go. This is 20 inches of wheel, they're hard rubber, and so they just roll along very nicely without digging in easily. The third thing I really like about this is its capacity. This is a seven and a half cubic foot unit. Well, that's if you just measure across the top. The reality is we heap it with all sorts of stuff like we're pulling weeds, carrying loose bedding straw, and so forth. It really carries a lot. The other thing is what you're seeing right here. It just sits there like a steady companion, ready to go to work. You can just shovel along and kind of nudge it along. There's another thing that we found out is that you can either push the wagon or you can pull it. Now, if you push it, uh, it's, um, it works pretty well, but we prefer to pull it across the yard. It just follows behind you. There's another thing I think that you'll like, and that is its overall size makes it so it'll fit right through a standard gate. We're able to navigate all over our property without having to go the long way around because there's a narrow pinch spot. And as for actual size of the unit, here's what you're gonna get. You're gonna find that from side to side, it's about 32 inches from the outside to the outside. Overall, the entire length from the back of the handle all the way to the nose of the tub, 58 inches. And the highest point off ground is about 28 inches. It'll carry up to 300 pounds, so it is a real workhorse. and It'll make your life a lot easier. Anything that's like this benefits from being stored in out of the sun because sun is really hard, not only in metal, but plastics and really makes them brittle more quickly than if they're kept shady when they're not in use. Well, I mentioned to you that there's one thing that we thought Rubbermaid could have done differently. What is it? Well, the wheels, the way they are affixed to the unit, you'll see there's a really nice steel axle with a wear ring right here, a washer, nylon washer, and there's one behind as well, and a simple cotter pin that holds it in. But there is no wear bearing inside. The hub itself is right here in the wheel, and so over a period of time, this is gonna wear out. Now the price point on this unit is about $160 at a big box store, such as the big orange one or the blue one. I've seen it online for around that, all the way up to 200, some of the more elite sites, nearly 300. But my point is, it can be had for a reasonable price point. And as you know, economics come in play. The more features you put in, the more the price point shows up. In all fairness, they probably made a good decision here because it's equally easy just to pull the cotter pin here, pull the wheel off of the old wheel you've got, replace it with a new one that are readily available it's several online sources. Well, this is a great tool. We give it a thumbs up. I'll throw a third one in there for Maggie, so it's got a triple thumbs up. And we have really enjoyed this cart and are confident we will for some time. So if you have another labor-saving device you'd like to use around your yardscape, won't you tell us about it down in the comments below? And if you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it? And better yet, subscribe to our channel where we can give you lots of tips about the home, the garden, the shop, the kitchen, and great product reviews. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.